So if you're looking for a new laptop for work, work meetings, content creation on the go, or maybe even some casual gaming or live streaming, well then this laptop could be for you. One problem you might encounter when shopping for a new laptop is the overwhelming array of choices. There are numerous options out there and a wide range of brands. And my guess is you probably don't want to end up buying a computer only to find out later that you've purchased an outdated model. And also you don't want to find out that it's not powerful enough or as intelligent as you need it to be. Well, stick around because I'm going to give you a few pointers that will help you with that. Here I have a new 2025 HP laptop. This is not a pavilion, it's not an Envy. This is the new Omnibook 7, engineered for durability and performance. There are various models and configurations in the range, but this this version of the Omnibook 7 that I have here features the Intel Core Ultra 7 255H with 32 gig of LPDDR5 RAM, one terabyte M.2 SSD. And if you want to check the current price, there will be a live link below this video. So what sets the Omnibook line apart from HP's past MVs and pavilions is that this is an AI PC. This means it's equipped with advanced AI features that can enhance the user experience. And it does have a dedicated co-pilot key that unlocks all of these superpowers and more on that in a minute. You also get access to HP's exclusive HP AI companion, which is an offline large language model. And this is fantastic for quite a few reasons. First of all, you can use it whilst on a flight where there's no internet or underground. And secondly, if documents that you're working on are sensitive or under embargo, you don't have to worry about uploading them online. And the HP Omnibook 7 is equipped with the Polycam Pro software, which has been designed to enhance the camera experience. And this is really cool because it offers improved video quality and also mic quality and overall enhanced conferencing capabilities. And we'll dive deeper into what these AI features and camera enhancers mean for you in a moment if you do decide to get this laptop. So the Omnibook 7 goes all the way up to an Intel Core 9 Ultra if you want to spend a little more, and it is a heavy hitter. It weighs in at 1.4 kilograms, but make no mistake, it's still light enough to carry around with you on the go. And I'm very impressed with the amount of premium materials used here. The large majority of the body is made of aluminium with a sandblasted anodized finish. Inside it has a four cell 68 watt hour lithium polymer battery, which can run this powerhouse of a computer for up to 15 hours and 14 minutes continuously in optimal conditions, of course. In real world heavy lifting conditions, if you're doing video editing, you could expect around eight to nine hours. The design of the HP Omnibook 7 definitely gives off those premium vibes and it has a premium feel to match. It's a robust piece of tech. And what's even more impressive is that HP has achieved this while meeting the EPEAT gold standard and earning the climate change plus stamp of approval. Simply put, this means the Omnibook 7 is a highly sustainable electronic product from a company that's dedicated to positive climate change action. Now, what I like the most about the Omnibook 7 14 inch is how sturdy it feels. And HP have in fact put the Omnibook 7 through 11 US military grade standard tests over the course of 25,000 hours to make sure that the Omnibooks will last even in harsh conditions. Okay, now let's talk about the display. So the Omnibook I have here features a 14 inch IPS micro edge anti-glare display with a 16 to 10 aspect ratio, 88.9% screen to body ratio. The brightness on this one is up to 300 nits and the srgb coverage is 62.5 percent and that's because this one is an 8-bit panel this particular display supports 40 hertz and 60 hertz refresh rates just for context most video sources will be 24 hertz or 30 hertz and at the very maximum 60. however hp does offer an upgraded display option so if you want or need the best in this omnibook 14 inch form factor you can spec bump this all the way up to a 3k oled panel which has a peak brightness of 400 nits and it supports 100 percent of the dci p3 color gamut as well as variable refresh rates that range from 48 hertz to 120. so this in my personal opinion is definitely the better option if you're into content creation with that said though the ips display is perfect for your usual microsoft office Office types of work and conference calls. I'm told the difference in price will likely be 100 to 200 pounds. But once again, I will have live links below this video. You can find them in the description or the top pin comment if you want to check. Now, one thing you should be aware of is that neither of the options are touchscreens. However, if you do want a touchscreen, you could look at the Omnibook X Flip. I'll have that link below as well if you want to check that out. Okay, going back to the design on this one, there's some really nice I.O. on board. You get one USB type A port with 10 gigabit per second signaling rate and another USB type A port with five gigs signaling rate. There's one HDMI 2.1 out, one Thunderbolt 4 with 40 gig signaling rate. And this particular port alone can 
output to two monitors at the same time if you have the right cable. And this also supports USB power delivery 3.1 and DisplayPort 2.1 and HP sleep and charge. This is where the laptop will charge to a certain point when it detects that it's been charged overnight. And this just helps to protect the battery. There's also a second USB-C port. And this one's a little bit slower, but it's still fast as it supports 10 gig signaling rate and also DisplayPort 1.4. There's also a headphone microphone hybrid jack. And when it comes to wireless connectivity, it supports Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3. Now, one of the aspects of the Omnibook 7 that I really, really like is the keyboard. It has these nice large keys that have this really satisfying click and travel, and it sounds so nice too. Being that this is a 14 inch laptop, you don't get the number pad, but you get these large fonts on the keys and the keys are backlit. There's a good amount of space to rest your palm and the trackpad does recognize gestures. And the left and right mouse clicks are located towards the lower edge, if you're wondering. Now let's talk about performance. So the processor in this particular Omnibook 7 is the Intel Core Ultra 7. The standard clock speed is 2.2 gigahertz, but with the Intel Turbo Boost technology, it can reach up to 5.1 gigahertz, which is really impressive. This version of the Intel Core Ultra 7 uses 24 megabytes of L3 cache. It has 16 cores and 16 threads with six performance cores, eight efficiency, and two low power efficiency cores. There is no dedicated graphics card on this one. However, it does utilize the Intel Arc GPU. And without getting too techy, what you need to know is that this graphics on board is fast enough for your usual productivity tasks and even heavy lifting like Adobe Premiere. You can also get some popular games to run on this, for example, Fortnite. So if you're looking for a laptop for work and play, well then this could be ideal for you. However, it is worth noting that with great performance, power can also come significant power drains. So if you are gaming with the screen brightness maxed out for long periods of time with the highest refresh rate set, the battery can drop from that 15 hours down to just eight hours, which is still very good. And this may be thanks to the massive amount of ventilation and the powerful fans on this laptop. And despite the power of these fans, even when pushed, the Omnibook 7 stays quite silent. And just so you can see how good these fans are, this is how the Omnibook looks after two hours of 4K video editing, this video <laughs> in Adobe Premiere. When it comes to recharging the Omnibook 7, you'll be happy to know that it ships with a 100 watt charger that can get this laptop to 50% in just 30 minutes. Now, Something that I appreciate and I think you will do too is the quality of the DTSX Ultra built in dual speakers. They sound surprisingly good and they're positioned to fire towards you. And if you do prefer to use headsets or earbuds, you can actually get the official Poly Audio products and they are ideal for work situations as they're the perfect partner for the Poly Audio software on this computer. This really comes into play whenever you're making video calls or using the webcam for pretty much anything, including game streaming. So the Polycam Pro software uses AI to ensure your video calls stay crystal clear and it also allows you to take advantage of features like auto framing, lighting optimization, background blur. It improves the audio to make you sound even more professional no matter where you are. For example, if you're in a noisy coffee shop and you have to jump on a conference call, the Polycam software will have your back. You can also create presets with watermarks with your contact details and social media handles that pop up as an overlay whenever you're on a conference call or live streaming. And all of these tools will work really well with the most well-known web conferencing platforms. And if you are doing game streaming, you can even overlay a cutout of yourself on top of the content in the background. When it comes to the actual camera hardware, the Omnibook 7 features a five megapixel IR camera. And because it has the IR sensors, this enables face unlock. And something that I know a lot of you guys will appreciate is there is a built-in privacy shutter for the camera. And if you do want to level up the amount of megapixels and use a separate webcam, you can still use the Polycam Pro tools with those connected cameras. And I think that's kind of a big deal. The HP Omnibook 7 is solid and it's well built and it features ethically sourced materials. The battery life is fantastic. The performance is also on par with the option to spec bump it up significantly along with the display if you want to. The keyboard is one of the nicest that I've used on a laptop. The built-in sound is very good. The IO is very convenient. A lot of laptops just ditch the full-size USB A's these days, but this one doesn't. The built-in camera and Polycam Pro software is excellent. You get great configuration options and even two M.2 SSD bays if you want to expand the memory yourself in the future. And of course, you've got Copilot AI on board with a dedicated button to activate it. And the reason it works so well is because the Intel Core Ultra 7 and 9 chipsets are built for AI. And in fact, the MPU on this particular model can perform AI tasks at a rate of 15 trillion operations operations per second. And do you realize what this means? It means 
you'll never have to do homework yourself again. Okay, I'm joking. We can't let the machines take over just yet. However, you can use the power of this AI PC to help you accomplish tasks more efficiently and more quickly, which is important because time is of the essence. So who is the Omnibook 7 14 inch for? It could be a fantastic choice for students as it allows you to run demanding software, complete your work with the help of AI and even allow you to enjoy some light gaming in your downtime. And it could also be great for professionals who need a productivity workhorse with excellent cameras and microphones and software to improve those conference calls. And it could also be great for content creators like myself who are always editing on the go. And lastly, the HP Omnibook 7 would be ideal for anyone who wants that perfect balance of performance and durability. So in my opinion, the Omnibook 7 ticks a lot of the boxes for a lot of people. So let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think of the HP Omnibook 7? If you do want to check out the price on the various configurations on this particular model, there'll be a link below this video. If you just subscribed, I will see you in the next one. Don't be late.